14. Second baseman, number nine. Now batting the pitcher, number 18. Number 30. <laughs> now back, the third baseman, number nine. The right fielder, number 16. How <laughs> batting? The first baseman. Number two. How about it? The catcher, number thirty. If you see the team mascot around, give them a wedgie for a free slice of sushi poutine. Now batting, the center fielder, number 20. A shortstop, number 35. First baseman, number 43. Now batting, the left fielder, number
number 31. Number 21. The second baseman, number eight, Ethan Hogwash. How about it? The left field. Number 42. Now back the center field. Number five. batting number 14 batting the shortstop number 21 Batting, the pitcher, number 17. Now batting, number 11. Yeah, I know, someone splashed out on an intro. And that someone was me. <laughs> I've done, it's, a work in, it's a work in progress, but I think you see where we're going with that. And also, I gave you a moment to go, flipping heck, I turned the volume up too much. Yeah, well, let that be a warning to you. 
Uh, hello, hang on, I'm just adjusting. There you go, I'm adjusted. Uh, it's game time here on New Year's Eve, and uh, it's the Super Mega Baseball. Uh, I mean, what else would you be expecting? It's nice to see you. Uh, there's, there's, a, there's a chunky number of you here. I had a suspicion that those of you who did not have other plans might just swing along for a little bit. So, let's do the thing. First off, uh, Alfred has bought himself a, a bleacher ticket. The rest of you are all watching for free. You're all peeking over the fence like cheeky schoolboys standing on an empty fruit crate. Good for you. Uh, and, uh, and Tim's chucked... Chuck two quid in for a steerage class passenger seat. Okay then. Uh, who are we playing? I don't know. I should probably look it up. Uh, we are playing the Wretched Minstrels, who are currently 11 and 16. Bulldozer Power are 10 and 17. We will be making some lineup changes, if nothing else, to the batting order. Um, I couldn't tell you exactly what the batting order is going to end up being, but it'll end up being something that it isn't currently at the moment. There we are. And, uh, Kevin's just chucked a tenner in a bucket to say front row seat. Oh, well, very good. Um, thank you, Kevin. Uh, right, good. Now, hang on, because I'm I, I get to use this this piece of marvelous technology instead of uh, instead of the usual uh, mouse and keyboard capering. You see, so we've got all of that. Right. Uh, now, I want to move Cookie down the batting order uh, so that she has the opportunity to, you know, just kind of get herself back in the spirit of things again. Uh, it's tempting to move Valerie as well, but with the Mind Weevils, uh, she does a pretty solid job. So I'm just going to... Oh, I don't know. Who shall I move? You know what? I'm going to put Carlton Wander in second, which is, you know, worrying. That didn't work. No, you've got to do it again. You've now got to move him up there. It's not a straight switch. Ah, okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to substitute Carlton because he's bobbins. Uh, we'll bring in Bernard Dunk. He's not quite at full fitness, but he's near enough for my taste. And then I was going to take off Johnny Touchdown uh, and bring back in Shandy. Flaming Worthless. Um, oh, Ruddy Nora. Brain Digs chucked a ton in the bucket. Uh, thanks, Brain Dig. Uh, that's, that's, that's jolly decent of you. Uh, thank you very much. Um, and Andrew is, uh, sl slung in two bucks to say, let's go, dozers. And, uh, and I, I heartily, heartily concur. Um, well, a New Year's win for the Bulldozer Power would be, uh, would be a delight. Pitching for us today, number four in the rotation. Oh, that's a good sign. It's, uh, it's Beretta Triffids. Oh, well, I mean, you can't, you can't win them all. Um... I mean, we we won one. So there you go. <laughs> Braden says it's a new year, so it's a new budget line item. Spending all at once, I approve of it entirely. Uh, right, let's book. Um, yeah, we're at home. And uh, have we got anybody, any names? We've got a couple of names on the other team. Not many, but uh, we have some, and that's all good. So, uh, hi, Bo. It's there you go. Say hello to me. Just, just, just nicely. Um, Niall's only just arrived. What's happened? Not a lot. I said hello to a few people. And some people... Well, I, the hats, the virtual hats that is passed around. People have slung various, uh, various notes and coins in that. Uh, because they're lovely and super. There you go. Right. Uh, first up to bat is going to be Plastic Vicar. Number 20. And uh, how's he looking? He's, well, 276 so far this season, which is not all that. Uh, he's only got two home runs. And uh, has he got, he's got mind weevils. Ah, right. Okay. Fine. He's, but I'm, I'm not sold on them, Cindy. Run straight past it. Ah, terrific. That's what you want to see. Uh, Cindy with the easy pick off there didn't manage to make it. Uh, Transatlantic Tom has chucked twenty bucks in the bucket. Let's go BDP. This, uh, uh, this is the year. This is how we start a new year, is it? Well, it might be. I mean, it, it could well be the continuation of what we've seen before. But we know we don't like the uh, the minstrels. What's Beretta good at? She's got better. She's got better junk pitching than velocity. All right. Okay. Well, we'll we'll try and stick to velocity pitches then. Yep. Uh, no, junk pitches, even. I know what I'm talking about, even though many would not. Who are we facing? This is JoJo Football. Um, 
Uh, I don't know if she's any relation to uh, anybody else who's got the surname football. One would imagine that somewhere in her lineage uh, there is someone else with the same surname. Uh, Valerie makes a, a half-hearted jump there and it doesn't end up being anything. Coral will throw that to third. And already here in the first, the we've right got field, runners on second and third. <clears throat> no outs is Java T. Uh, four home runs for him so far. Look at him. What a svelte, lean-looking dude this is. Uh, he's uh, a handsome man and no mistake, and he's found that one off. Uh, right, okay. I mean, obviously, your taste may vary, but uh, if you ask me, I think he's magnificent. Uh, Trine Avantis has just slung a tenner in a bucket, going, uh, let's, let's hope for a good game from Cindy. Well, she already missed an easy play, so, I mean... Don't get your hopes up too high. But there's a strikeout from Beretta Driffids. A good place to start. It's Clem Rigid coming up next, and he's pretty, feeling pretty positive. But is he feeling rigid? Therein lies the question. Uh, well, well, we'll find out. We'll starting with something curvy or starting with uh, a fast dish? Because uh, fast, fast dish is about as much as we can hope for. That one's gone long. Peach is there with the dive, doesn't manage to execute it, and coughs up a double and a couple of runs. Nice fielding there the as well. Number 14. Oh dear. Wolfgang says he started drinking too early. Uh, you're based on how this game's going already. Yeah, I would, I would say that's probably true. Uh, right, this is uh, Xena Dark, who's, who's up to bat now. And uh, can she continue the onslaught? Cindy's sort of... I've got three fielders sort of running in. And I genuinely don't care as long as one of them catches it, which we have now done. Now the short stop, okay, 29. all right, good. Let's right. Go! Here's Cliff Goatscream. And uh, he's a four-home run kind of a guy so far this year. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's certainly not like the last couple of games. The last couple of games we played have been very low scoring early on. And it's only been later on, once we've started to get some pitching fatigue happening, uh, that the scoreline has opened up. So, there, you know, there you are. Uh, Katie's attempting to start a bulldozer power cheer in the chat. I'm not entirely convinced it's going to amount to anything in terms of performance. Uh, but you can't, that one's over the fence. Katie, stop it. It's not helping. It's, it's not. No, that's, that's not. That's not gone well. Um, yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. It's only the first inning. Uh, anything could still happen. Uh, we could have a, uh, a rather splendid uh, rally at some point in the game. Uh, Gabriel asks, uh, with the recent update, will we, will we ever be seeing BDP alternate uniforms? No. You know why? Because I went through and I made alternate uniforms for the two teams that were playing that week. My thinking being that, uh, that I'd be able to, uh, to gradually replace all the teams. Doesn't accept them in the franchise modes. It, ha it only takes the team uniforms that were present when the teams were drafted. Shandy, sort of a stop there, but can he make the play? Yes, he can out number three. The minstrels are dispatched eventually. But that was not a successful first inning. So, yes, I would very much like uh, to have alternate uniforms, just for a bit of variety, you know. But, but no, it can't be done. Because it, I'm locked in with the teams as they are for this franchise. Boo hiss and so forth. Right, pitching for them is Turner Overworld. And I'm going to say it right now, Turner Overworld is a bad pitcher. Okay, all right, well... Yeah, no, we'll wait it out. Valerie there, biding a time, but that's strike two. And that one was low, and she's going to be gone cheaply. It felt like it was on the cusp, and I couldn't risk it. Right, here's Bernard Dunk coming back from one of his many sabbaticals due to being a little bit tired. Well, Bernard, we're going to need a game from you here, because we're down four, and it's early days. Um, so, that's, that's gone well, then. Yeah, yeah, terrific. Bernard's gone. Here's Cindy. Uh, an easy out there. Bernard Dunk is history early on. But, we're, you know, we're still getting the feel for the day. Uh, you know, and it's, it's nice that we're at home so we can disappoint our home fans. Cindy there deciding to swing late. 
I mean, by Cindy, of course, I mean myself. No, she... Well, okay, all right, I'll allow it, but she shouldn't have swung at that. Uh, she gets on base, and that's a, that's a rarefied hit. A rarefied hit. Yeah, here's Chubbs. Okay, Chubbs, just do what you've been doing all season. A little tickler of a base hit would be plenty. That was quite a nice pitch. I should have probably had that one. Yeah, but you didn't. Oh, go, Cindy, go. Uh, well, they've thrown that one a long way, and Cindy's going to steal a couple. Uh, she hasn't quite got enough time to steal home, and all of a sudden, we're in scoring position. Uh, lovely work, Chubbs. Go, Cindy. Oh, this is Chansey. This is very Chansey. She's in. Cindy, ruddy, vapid with the steal. Uh, that's strike two. And that's a nice big hit from Chubbs, but Chubbs doesn't have power, so Chubbs is out. But that's nice. Good work from Cindy Vapid to turn that into a score. Um, <laughs> hey, no complaints. No complaints at all about that. Even though, even though, has to be said, we are trailing at the end of the first inning. Four to one. Here's DJ Marcel the Jams, the third baseman. Uh, he's got five homers this season and uh, a batting average of, yeah. Um, so, you know. Uh, read into that what you will. Uh, let's see if we can't have a slightly more successful uh, defensive defensive run here. You never know. That's ball two. Come on, Triffids, dig deep. Uh, I don't want to go into my relievers too early, but I have a feeling that I will be doing. Just because, you know, well, I mean, do you need a reason? I mean, it's, it's very obvious why it's likely to happen. Try something like that. Well, uh, it might work. Well, that's good enough. Cindy, this time, doesn't mess it up. And that's first out. The pitcher, number 56. <clears throat> Ooh, okay. Good times, good times. This Turner Overworlds. Other worlds, beg your pardon. Uh, the, uh, the pitcher. We'll play it gentle to him. There you are, and he's fouled that one off. Look, I'm throwing it straight down the middle, doing an off-pace flipping fastball. Oh, no. Cindy dives anyway. Because, you know, she kind of feels she's contractually obliged to do so after missing the easiest catch in the world in the first inning. And thereby giving up at least one of the four runs we gave up. Uh, who's this? It's uh, Plastic Vicar, round for a second spin of the dice. And Beretta's accuracy is gone because he's mind weevils. Ah, yeah. Okay, well, let's strike one. He still might... No, yeah, mind weevils work throughout. And it just... It, it affects your accuracy. Okay, that's all right. That's a nice bounce. Um, all right, yeah. Uh, I mean, Beretta does have the change-up at her disposal, but uh, given that the velocity of her fastball is not anything to write home about, I can't see the change-up getting used. Uh, that was nice. Ho ho! Yeah, suck it, Vicar. All uh, right, he's gone. Is uh, Jojo football? Uh, got a double. First time around, well, well, we'll try and prevent that. But we've got two outs, nobody on, well, one, one, beg your pardon, on base. Um, and, uh, and Beretta, having done moderately so far this inning, moderately, that's, that's about the, uh, that's about the size of it. Okay, that's two strikes. What are you going to do with this one? Uh, let's do one that looks like it's a sinker, but isn't. There you go. It was a little higher than I was aiming, but it worked. And that's another strikeout, and the minstrels can go and sit down for a minute. Um, good. Right. It's us again. Coral success first up, followed by the return of Shandy Worthless, and then Dick Yard. Like Richard. He's still Richard at the moment. He has yet to become Dick. Uh, but uh, we'll see how he gets on. All right, Coral, uh, who has been a success story for us. But we're going to need her to be a success story for us today. All right. Okay. I mean, her name's a success story. That's what she'll call her autobiography. Well, if she has a career that warrants it. That's a good hit. Coral's got a piece of that one. And got the other pieces of it as well. And has slapped it. Stupid. Slapped that one good and proper over centre field. And Coral is in for her third home run this season. Oh, yeah. All right. Here comes Shandy Worthless, the uh, the team's leading home run hitter, uh, who has been quiet in the last few games. 
And I mean the last few games he did play, not the last few games he hasn't played in. That's all right. That's all right. Kaj Shandy, a nice little base tickler with plenty. You didn't need to swing at that one. That one's going to be caught downtown. Oh, he almost made the fence. Yeah, and a horribly timed. Horribly timed at a high ball. Oh, well, he's gone. Here's Richard Yardline. All right, Rich, come on. Come on, son. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. Get it in there. Come on, just rock it one time. Or wait it out. They're both good answers. Hey, he's hit it one time, and that's out to centre field. He'll get himself on base. One out, runner on first. Bulldozer power. Not choking at the moment. Because <laughs> that's inevitable, right? Here's Cookie in the lower batting order to see if she can regain some of the confidence and form that she had in the early part of the season. You know, Richie Yardline's really fast, right? Well, here we go. Is he fast enough? Yes, he is. And that's strike two. Okay. All right. That one's inside. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, no, I'm not going to go. I'm not stealing third. Not unless you, you know, muck up the fielding somewhere. That's plausible. It's good. Uh, Richard took his time deciding to run there, but he did eventually. And we now have runners at the corners. And here's Beretta. Oh, Beretta, do I take you out? What is it? Second inning? She's just started pitching better. Okay. All right. Beretta, just take a few pitches. All right. And then if one feels particularly sweet, have a swing at it, because your batting's not terrible. Yeah, like that. Beretta Triffids, everybody. Getting a base hit and a run batted in. And BDP are coming back. Or have done a little, certainly. Um, that's solid. And here's Valerie Hammock. Round for her second at bat. Is only a second at bat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's her second at bat. Okay. Let's strike one. Yeah. That's a ball. Yeah. No, I mean, you don't, that's nothing else. Uh, so is that. Yeah, yeah, that's a ball as well. All right. Come on, 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 come on. Late. And it's doom. Doom for the team. Valerie gets everyone out. Uh, but a good inning from BDP and the score at the end of two innings is Wretched Minstrels 4, Bulldozer Power 3 this one is not over right. here's Java T second at bat today ah oh, it's this mighty fine looking dude yeah and why are you so taken by him I don't know I just think he fits the uniform very well you know it's, it's like he's had it tailored or some such. Yeah. Now you think it makes him a better baseball player? Oh, undoubtedly. I think it makes him arguably the best baseball player in the... In the never mind. That wasn't working. No, I know. It was worth a try, though. All right. Rich throws that one out to second. But we've given up the double. And that's the second kind of low throw that Cindy struggled with. Oh, dear. Yeah. All right. Here's Clem Rigid. Look, we've already given up two bases. Uh, Beretta, come on, try and find your form. Unless it is that you can only pitch well in even-numbered innings. Uh, we got. I mean, time will tell. But we can't give up another four runs in this inning and expect to win the game now, can we? Can we? Answer me that. Well, don't answer me that. You're pitching. Right? That one's gone a long way, but yard line's on the end of it, and that's beautiful. Uh, they are going to take the third base, though. Okay. All right. Yeah, one out. Runner on third. Xena Dark next up. Didn't manage to do much with her first at bat. But uh, is a pretty decent player by all measures. Or certainly all measures that are measured statistically. And, uh, and therefore, we should expect her to perform moderately. Uh, anybody? 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 Nobody. All right. Okay. Ah, well, that's a run. Yeah. Buttocks. Are the hammock triplets all 27 feet tall? No, they're not. No, there's one aberrant, aberrant triplet, uh, which is Veronica. Uh, the others are standard size. Um, yeah. uh, but Veronica is XL with tiny little feet. Uh, Valerie, perfectly normal sized individual, uh, well within limits that one would consider normal sized. That was a bit of a duff pitch. Okay. All right. Come on. Keep it coming. It's all good. How many have we thrown? Coming up on 50. 
Yeah, all right. Well, in that case, I won't feel awful about subbing uh, subbing Triffids off soonish. Uh, but it's not for a batting. A batting has been good. Way from her one at bat. There's a strikeout. That's solid. Number 84. All right, good times. Here's Brisket Wayfarer. Also failed to accomplish anything first time around. And has that kind of hangdog expression that says, I just collect the salary. I was I was better years ago. Uh, that one's gone skyward. Bernard dunks underneath it and has the outs. And uh, that, was, that was a not bad inning there. I mean, could have been better, but it was okay. Next up to bat for us is Bernard Dunk. All right. Yep. 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 All right, Bernard. Come on, son. He's uh, he's over 400 batting average so far this season, but can he hang on to it? He's going to have to get some hits to make that happen. That'll do. No, it won't. Yes, it will. Oh, off the rough bounce. Zena Dark can't make the play, and Dunk is lucky to get to first. Is Cindy Vapid. Got herself a fortuitous base hit uh, from her first at bat. So, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Bosh, no chance. That's out. Shortstop made the play there. And that gives us Chubsy Beaver. Now, Chubbs, of course, forced all those errors in fielding last time around that allowed us to get a run. Yeah. Chubsy Beaver. Bong. That one, the bong, apparently. Okay, well, fair enough. And that's a hit for Chubbs Beaver. Runners now first and second. One out. Here's Coral Success. And she hit it over the fence with her first at bat. She's currently batting 4 7 4 this year. Uh, that's monstrous. That is a huge batting average. Um, but has she has she got another one? A dinger right now, and this game has taken a very different complexion. But that's three balls in a row. Yeah, yeah, no, we'll ride out strike two as well. Don't think we won't. No, we won't. Oh, mistakes were made. Coral can't beat the throw. Should have. It, it was it was landing just where I wanted it, but she uh, didn't get the angle. Disappointment the there for BDP. And at the end of three, it is five to the Minstrels, three to Bulldozer Power. DJ Marcel Lejans coming back up for another go. Right. Beretta, how are you looking? Stamina is pretty strong. You're as good as you were when we first saw you, so let's carry on with you. Nice, got a swing and a miss there on a fastball. That's not something she can say very often. Uh, being caught looking there on the curve. Yeah, no, no, I like that pitch. I like that. No, that's way outside. <laughs> that's that one's that one's outside of well all of all of the envelopes. That's not bad. Yeah, and Valerie will retrieve it. Chucks it over to first, and Shandy makes the play. First out. Here's 56. Turner o, Otherworld. They might take him out here. We'll see. Nope, they're keeping him in because they have the lead. Good. I don't want to face a good pitcher. Uh, anyway, he didn't hit it very far. Chubbs will field that one, and that's out number two. Here's Plastic Vicar. Round for his thirds. Okay, he's got a lot of hair. That's the news as it is right now. Uh, right. Good pitch. Strike one. Uh, same again, a little bit higher. No, no, you, you didn't fool nobody with that. That was a load of old tosh. Uh, there you go. That's a good pitch, but it's one of your dubious fastballs. Anyway, that's strike two. Ball one. What should we do with this? Uh, outside sinky in a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Ha 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 clown. Get off. Good work, BDP defense. In fact, after that first inning, we've only given up a couple of hits. So, uh, so BDP is right on it. And we're trailing by a couple. Is Shandy Worthless to try and start to reverse the rot as we know it in the trade? Shandy, what are you playing with today? playing with a baseball bat. Okay. Uh, we've had 46 pitches out of uh, out of other worlds at the moment. Uh, that's three balls in a row. 
What's this one going to be? That is a walk, my friend. Yep, there's no other way to cut that one. And that brings up Ricky, Rick, Rick, Rick Odo, uh, the yard line. That's Rick Odo, which isn't a name that actually exists in the Dozerverse. But my, that was a little bit wide, that one. That one was possibly a touch on the high side. And uh, Otherworld has, has completely lost his mind. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I realise you can throw him down the middle. I'm just curious as to where the next one's going to go. And that's another walk. Uh, yard line. Just waits it out perfectly. And that's solidly magnificent. Here's Cookie. All right, Cookie. Time to shine. Uh, the, I mean, you know, over the fence and we go ahead. I mean, no pressure, but I'm just putting it out there. Bang! It's not bad, but it's going to be caught. Okay. No, it's not. It's not flipping caught, neither. Oh, boy. And that's a double, which gets us a run. And BDP now only trail by one with runners on second and third. And we will allow Beretta to take her bat because she can't cause a double play unless she's really super unlucky. Well... I hadn't. I thought we were doomed there. Beretta with a nice hit. She's going to be caught, though. Yep. Go on, son. And the tying run is in. One out. A runner on second. Valerie Hammock up to bat. She's got a big fat donut in the game so far. But they've had enough of Turner. Turner is Dunzor. And uh, they're bringing Sherry Remix in for a bit of relief pitching. Okay. All right, yeah, Turner Overworld was a bad choice to begin with, but that works for me. Yeah, okay, good, yeah. Uh, right, let's see what, we're, see what we're playing with here. Sidearm, eh? Okay. Uh, the Mind Weevils there, getting to work on Sherry Remix. That one's gone a bit wide. However, that's a nice hit, and Valerie splits the infields, and we'll find a way out to first base. And we now have runners on one and three. Why did we not? Why did we not? Why, no, because it was on second. Oh, good point. Right, here's Bernard Dunk. Also, currently 0 for 2. Uh, but the rally caps do appear to have been affixed to the heads of the bulldozer power players. So far. Uh, could all be over here, of course. Could be. Could be. That's ball two. Ball two. Bernard Dunk. He thinks it's a bit high because it was... And he'll be caught, but we have plenty of time to get the go-ahead run. And there she blows. Bulldozer Power now take the lead, and this Cindy Vapid with runners on first and second. Uh, or just second. Just second? Just first. All right, whatever. Are we in a stealing mood? Not with whoever that is. They're slower than dirt. All right, Cindy. It's been a very long time since Cindy hit one over the fence. Now, I'm not expecting her to do that because that's not her play. However, I'm just pointing out, it's been a very long time since we saw a home run from Cindy Vapid. But there's a classic Cindy Vapid centre field bouncer. Booyah! <laughs> okay. And that gives us Chubsy Beaver. Oh, what a big piece of teeth. He's got too many teeth. But uh, he is Chubbs Beaver and he's got a baseball bat that he bites down on to keep those teeth in top working order uh, dentists don't recommend that you do that but he does it anyway because he's chubbs beaver and like a beaver he likes to gnaw on a bit of wood uh, just to keep his chompers chomping two balls two strikes chubbs beaver straight at the pitcher that doesn't kill it which is a shame but that loads of bases who's going to disappoint us today i wonder uh, Andrew has slapped two bucks in the bucket with a go dozers rallying call. Here's Coral Success. Well, oh yeah. Well, don't, don't. I'm not. I'm not saying a word. Okay. Yeah, she's certainly not jinxed by her name. Well, now that you've said it, she's going to be. Ball two, strike one. Good hit. And that's another run. And we make bases loaded count for something for once. And uh, and the engine is running. And here's Shanty Worthless. Well, he's had a walk. He's had a swing and a miss. And there are things happening. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. Ball one. All right, Shanty. 
I've got an eyelash in the eye. Yeah, oh. it's just going to have to wait. There's ball two. Yeah. No! Sandy Worthless pops one up into the sky. And he's caught and he's dead and everybody's out and it's rubbish. However, there's four runs from BDP, which takes the scoreline at the end of four innings. Wretched Minstrels, five. Bulldozer of Power, seven. Oh, yes. There you go. There it is. There you are. There you go. Here we go. There it is. And here we are. Here's JoJo football. Beretta Triffids still on the mound because uh, we believe in her. Shouldn't have, though. Chubbs dives about three quarters of an hour early there and and just lies on the floor watching the ball trickle helplessly past. Or helplessly watching the ball trickle past. Or tricklingly watching the ball helpless past. Is Java T, a man whose pants fit him awfully well. And uh, Beretta going to try and do something magnificent. Uh, Peaches is making a run on this one. Calls it, waves it, loves you, Dob. That's uh, out number one. Runner on first, and it's down to Clem Rigid to try and extend this. He's got two runs batted in today with his double that he hit early on. Uh, but, uh, I mean, everybody everybody has a good game sometimes. That one is another flaming double, isn't it? At least. Yeah. And another run batted in. I should say so. Great. Chubbs can't make the play on that. And that is another run batted in. How marvellous. Yeah, is, uh, is Xena Dark, who is allegedly volatile. So we possibly don't want to get on her wrong side. Uh, but that said, we're going to try and get her out. And she's not going to enjoy that much. And that's an easy play. But we do now have a runner on third. With the uh, potentially tying run. And it has to be said that uh, the colour of the helmet... Uh, that the minstrels is wearing, are wearing, is disgusting. Uh, yeah. That's all. That's that's the only comment I've got to say about that. Uh, Valerie. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Casually just goes, I'll have that. Hey, good job. And they're gone. Could have been worse. Could have been better, but wasn't worse. So that's better than worse. Excellent. Here comes BDP Richard Yardline first up. It's Number Big 15. Rich. Big, strong Rich. He's got a single. He's got a walk. He's made a play or two. Um, he, he stole a base as well, I think. At least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Richard flipping yard line. He's good at stealing bases, if I recall correctly. Well, if he gets on, he's, he's done it. He's got a hit. He's not got a time to get seconds. So we'll see if he can, uh, if he can uh, peekaboo a base here. As Cookie steps up. She's got a double, a single, and a run batted in. That's her form rediscovered then. Yeah. Okay, Rich. You ready? We'll go on the second pitch. Ah, uh, because <laughs> that'll catch him. And Rich is off to the races. And he's there. Lovely job. Okay, two balls. Cookie just sitting in there waiting for something likeable. Strike one. That's a tricky one, but it's not tricky enough. And she will have a base hit. Uh, Ricky Yard lines out a third. And it's all good times here. Here's Beretta. She's got a single. And she's batted in two runs. What a flipping legend. Sherry Me Remix is done. Uh, they're taking her out. And despite the fact he's not fully fit, they're bringing in fat old Farmer Vault style. Uh, who's coming in and uh, and seeing what he can play with? Because Sherry Remix wasn't wasn't getting that life done at all. All right, okay, yeah, no, no, we'll see what other people. I mean, so afeard uh, are they of the batting prowess of Beretta Triffids that they brought in a ringer. Okay, well she's not in a hurry. How many outs have we got? None. Swing away, Beretta. Well, anytime you feel like it. Two strikes, two balls. Beretta Triffids. That's not bad. She's only gone and got another run batted in and got on base again. Well, I mean, at this point, she's looking like she's putting up Hero of the Revolution type numbers. Uh, she may be in the three stars of the day, unless things go horribly wrong. And we're looking at Valerie Hammock, who made an inning-saving catch on defense. Uh, can she make a, a big go-ahead, uh, you're-in-my-house-now kind of a hit here? 
Well, we'll see, won't we? Oh, that felt that. I thought that the connection on that one was a banger. Uh, but that's the full count. All right, Val. And that's in the dirt, and she gets her walk. Uh, which is just as well for the opposing team, because we would have started stealing off that one. Here's Bernard Dunk. He's 0 for 2, but he has butted in a run. So he sacrificed himself. No out bases loaded. We've not seen this scenario in a while. Okay, come on, Bernard. Don't let me down. Strike two, if you say so. Bernard, he swung long, but it's too long. And we're going for the run. And we'll get it. <laughs> Especially since the Minstrel's outfield seems to have something along the lines of the Butterfingers going on today. Here's Cindy Vapid, two of three, from her at-bats. Pair of singles, those were. Uh, but that's really all we demand from her. Because once she gets on base, then the, the opposition tends to be afeard of everything. And I'll tell you something. What's that? This pitcher isn't going to be around for long. No, she's out. And that's a double play. A, uh, an excellent heads-up play from the second baseman. And uh, a catch off the Cindy hit there turns into a double play. Anyway, here we are at the end of five innings, and Bulldozer Power are up nine to six. Yes, sirree. And here's Brisket Wayfarer, uh, who is, I mean, he's, he's so slow, but they're keeping him in. Obviously, he's been in the league for a long time. And, uh, you know, I just can't really be bothered with any of it these days. He turns up, he takes his salary, he's, he's in practice. He's probably chewing some tobacco and, and spitting flamboyantly. Chubbs? Chubbs makes the... Well, he slows it down, but, I mean... Honestly, Chubbs, I'm, to be fair, Chubbs was a late-round pick for me, and therefore I don't have high expectations from him. Uh, what he has ended up being is quite a reliable base hitter. So, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, T-Bone just said 15 runs in total. You obviously don't watch the games very often. 15 runs at this point, that's, that's not unusual. Not even slightly. Who's batting? It's only DJ Marcel the Jams. Okay. All right, strike one. They've got a runner on first. That's not for your benefit, that's for mine. Yeah. I have, to, I have to say these things sometimes, so I know that there's a double play opportunity, but I shouldn't let it sway me from just getting someone out if I can. Get someone out if you can. I don't care who gets it. Oh. Now back, the pitcher, number eight. Well, the game tried to help there and utterly failed by changing its mind every tenth of a second on who I was controlling. Uh, Volt style is out. They don't want him hitting. And Hillary Billiards is coming on. To, uh, to try and uh, try and land a hit here. They've got runners first and second and nobody is out at the current time. Yeah. Beretta, how are you feeling? She's lively, you know? Okay. All right. All right. I think she's done after this inning. She might be done after this batter if it doesn't go well. Ooh, ruthless. Well, we want to preserve the flipping lead. I mean, we give up a home run here and they're back in the game by tying it up. Fair point. Yep. 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 Had a feeling you were going to do that, you muppet. Anyway, here's Plastic Vicar, who has, well, we've owned him so far this game. That's not going to last. Yeah. Dropper now. Ooh, I mean, I'd be happier trying this with two outs. Now, nah, give it a go. Give it a go. Give it. Come on, she's got it. She's 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 got this. All right, just don't make a pig's ear of it. That's outside the flipping strike zone as well. He's seen that pitch from us already. All right, there you go. Right, that's a strike. Yeah. Now where? Same position? No, nah, something sort of middle-ish. That's. No, no, not that. That, that, not so good. Okay, three balls, and Beretta's overthinking it. Ah, right. Yes, I'm overthinking it. Right, strike two. Um, yeah, just throw any old thing, and maybe it'll work. He hit that one a long way, didn't he? Woo! Deary me. Holy mackerel, that one went a very long way, and that home run ties up the ball game. 
Number 31. <laughs> yeah. Here's JoJo football, and Beretta Triffitt is done. <laughs> she arguably should have been done before that last matter. All right, who's available? Uh, Bert is on max at the moment, but his confidence is off. Okay, we're looking at stamina, just in case you were wondering. Santino Bananas is available. Yeah, It would be nice to have a, a fastball thrower, to be honest. You know you haven't got any. Oh! <laughs> you, know, you haven't got anybody who throws a fastball. Ah! All right, Bert, let's see if we can get your confidence back up again. Oh, blimey. Okay. Oh, yeah. Pitching, number 47. All right, Bert, chuck your your incredibly fast ball first. Yeah. No, she, she doesn't even treat you with the, uh, with the courtesy of, okay, let's see what your throw is like. That's ball one. All right. Yeah. That's not bad. Very nice. Okay. Now, now, faller with the fork ball. Is that like heroes in a half shell? Very much so. Uh, right, yeah, keep it coming. These are all good. I mean, if you can land a couple of strikeouts, but your uh, your confidence will come back magnificently. Uh, four efforts of fastball. Yeah, I know that, but they haven't got velocity as one of their stats, which means as much as you can throw a fastball, it's not that fast. So it's uh, so it's it's arguably unwise to do so. In fact, there's no real argument about it. It's unwise to throw them. Uh, except, I mean, I put them in there just to mix up the pitching a little bit because sometimes it helps them to bite on one of the dirtier pitches that I throw. Meanwhile, however, we've got a batter here who's hell-bent on wasting everybody's time and fouling everything off. All right, well, let's keep chucking them. Or two. She's not going to go for a sinker this time. Uh, hold on. Maybe one of those. All right. That's nice. No, it isn't. Put one down the middle. Okay. There you go. It's up. It's gone backwards. All right. Who is this? It's JoJo Football. Yeah. All right, Football. Put the flipping ball away, would you? Oh, for pity's sake. Look, he's a reliever. He hasn't got that many pitches in him. He's only got a little rubber band arm. There you go. Valerie picks that one up and throws it first, and that's the second out. Now batting, the right fielder, number 42. Oh, yeah. Here's Java T. Uh, one for three, and uh, tight pants. The end. Yeah. I'm not obsessed, you're obsessed. Uh, that one's gone a fair distance. Coral's sort of half heartedly running for it. Flipping it, Coral. Get a wriggle on. You should have had that. If you'd have been at full burn. That would have been an easy take. You know, and then we could we could come away from this half of the inning. Uh, we are at the top of the sixth at the moment. We could have come away with it only tied. Anything could happen with... I mean, they, yes, they've got two outs, but... I wouldn't put it past them going again. Uh, Peaches is out there for that one. It's going to be at the fence that's wide of the pole that dictates where the end of Poland is. Um, all right, yeah. Two strikes, no balls. Well, let's ch start chucking some... Well, that's not a ball. That's a perfectly good pitch. Right, he's history. Get off with your tight pants. Uh, Hillary Billiards is out of here as a pinch hitter, and Bug Eye Seizure is coming in to start doing some pitching. Bug Eye Seizure has even worse velocity than any of my pitches, so we'll see what's going on there. All right. Okay, we can we can do this. This is going to work. It's going to work. It's we could do we can work here. It's it's going to work. This could work here, and things could work. It's going to work. Here's Chubbs Beaver. All right. Kind of seizure. Chuck it. Yep. A slow bender. That's what that was. Was that your fastball? I'd say so. Sure. Chubbs swings long, but it's going to be caught, and that's the first out. All right. All right, all right. Here's Coral. Coral, who ruined it for everybody last time around. Um, but she has... She's done good work for us today. And... She's out. Here's Shandy Worthless. And his contact's off. Why is your contact off, Shanders? Don't know. All right. Okay, well, we've got two out, so there's no real pressure on you. Except, you know, the game's on. He's, he's gone as well. Should have soaked up a few more pitches there. Uh, but that's what we always say when, you know, we're behind. At the, when we get out for nothing, just take a bit more, you know, all of that business. 
at the end of six innings, it is nine all. Oh, yeah. Both teams now having made pitching changes. It's Clem Rigid, who uh, is an excellent player, probably the best in the league. And uh, I'm certainly terrified of him. Uh, yeah. Oh, all right. I see that doesn't work at all, then. Uh, that's a nice hit to the corner. Coral's going to have to run to go get it, which means it's a double. <sighs> is Zena Dark? Come on. Come on, let's uh, let's go. She's got very wide, nervous, scared, almost looking eyes. It's just an observation. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, decent enough pitch there from Bert, but his mood is back into the kind of neutral zone, and that's a good thing. Strike two. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sinky Forker. While it didn't sink properly, no. And he threw it off target anyway, so that's rubbish. That's a good slider there. No, she, she figured that was coming. Dive. Catch! What a play! Oh, my goodness me. Ricky. Ricardo. Ricky Rickerick. A uh, yard line there with a diving catch. And for the first time this season, a diving catch actually worked. Is Cliff Goat Goatstream? Goat Scream. Goat Stream. Would it have been funnier? It would have been just as good, I reckon. Goat scream is a thing, though. So goat stream, yes, uh, has, has a slightly more surreal element to it. Okay. Three players in the zone here. Cindy's made the catch. Excellent. Good throw, Cindy. Here's Brisket Wayfarer. This, there are two outs as we talk to each other now. And a runner on second. Okay. Brisket Wayfarer. Yeah. Good. Pitch there, Bert. Bert starting to get a bit tired. Yeah. It's a decent enough pitch. Valerie will pick it up, chuck it over to first, and that's the end of that then. Uh, they got themselves a runner on base. That could have been dangerous, but uh, Ricardo, the Rickster, uh, managed to make a play there in centre field, and they're all done. And uh, here comes BDP, and they're now trying to uh, fix. It is uh, Big Rick. The Rick Monster. Uh, everybody's favourite, Richard Yardline. A flaming monster amongst baseball players. And I'm not using flaming as a, as a, uh, a replacement for stronger language there. No, he's literally on fire. I fouled that one off, but that's okay. That one's not gone brilliantly. And days out. Knackers. Uh, Braindig's chucked 75 bucks in the bucket. Thank you, Braindig. Uh, overpriced snicks and cracker jacks for the singing of Take Me Out to the Ball Game. I'm not doing it. Uh, you can't. Actually, I've missed it. Oh, I missed the seventh inning stretch. I could have made you lot do it. Who's batting? I don't know, but that's a reasonable hit, even if it's caught, which it is. All right, I got pictures. Okay, well, she's dead now. Uh, here's Bert, and we'll take him out and bring in a, uh, a hitter here. Yeah, go on, Bert, get off. Um, who do you want? Is it, well, we've got the, the usual consideration of do we go hobo or cheese, although cheese looks rubbish. Why is he looking rubbish? We're batting. We're, we're batting, Benny. It's all about contact. I, mean, I, I don't know what's going on there. Um, uh, yeah, JT? No. JT's a stealer. All right. Well, it's going to be the hobo then. Come on, Joe. Let's rock. Two outs, uh, nobody on base. Reverend Joe Hobo tries to keep the inning alive and does so with a base hit. Super. I mean, whether or not that helps us is anybody's guess. Is Valerie Hammock. And her numbers are off as well. What's going on? I don't know. Still, she slapped that one. Good and proper, is it? Not quite. Oh, I should have pressed the keep running buttons. A plenty. That was probably a run there. Who was who was leading? Reverend Joe. I know he's not quick, is he? Why is why are Bernard's numbers off as well? I don't know. It's got to be all of this, these special capers that uh, that farmer do. Oh, no, no, no. I wasn't thinking. I'm, I wasn't trying to. I, I would have pulled that one. I pressed the button ever so slightly too hard. Ah, Joe. You did well, but get off. 
All right, get off. All right, who's in? Hey, it might be Tools, you know. What about Santino? It might be Santino, you know. All right, at the end of seven, it's nine all. <laughs> I promised you a ball game, and you've got one. Here, here it is. Here is the ball game that you have. That's the one, and I promised you this one. This is the one you were promised, and you've got it. Is uh, DJ Marcel the Jams one of three today, and it was uh, only a single. He's got enormous mutton chops. That's the news. Santino Bananas. Who, I happen to notice, uh, has two forms of fastball going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think he's got a change up as well. No, he's got a curve. Oh, he has got a curve. Right. Then letting the pitcher have a go. It's bug eye seizure at the plate. But okay. Santino's got two forms of fastball, and he's rubbish at fastballs. Yep. Ah. Good. What a what a well what a well thought out player he is. All right, let's go. And that's the ticket. Santino claims his first. His plastic home run vicar, the dangerous plastic vicar, the opening batter, who is the cause of much consternation, trouble, and indeed consternation. And that's a strike. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, dubious fastball there. No, he pulled the... Yeah, you see, that's what I was trying to do. Pull the swing. Yeah. Let's strike two. Beautiful. Beautiful piece of pitching. Uh, where's this one going? Uh, there. That's close-ish. No, 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 no. You've got to win. If you're going to... He's a good hitter, right? So his contact zone is going to be pretty strong. Cindy. Makes it. Throws it. Got it. Out number three. Never mind. Never mind. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, boy. Yep. What a game. Uh, right. Bottom of the ninth. Uh, bottom of the eighth. Big button coming up, and it's Cindy Vapid first up to bat. Could, it could well be the next team to score wins this, you know. It, it's that kind of game. Um, but it's more likely to be the first team to score six wins it. So, uh, Cindy's the place where we're going to try and start here. Yeah. Bug eye seizure. Nope. That one's fouled off. Cindy now facing two strikes. She's hit it just about right. Has she got the legs for it? Yes, she does. And that's a base hit for Cindy. Perhaps a little lucky there again. No, 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 no. It was out of reach of the fielder. They could only make a stop. All right. Here's Chubbs. Ah, she's not going yet. No, no, no. I never go on the first pitch. Don't be daft. Nope, not going on that pitch either. Nope. No, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to throw some. Apparently, two out of three total. Don't know what that means. Nope, still not going. No sir. Too many disengagements. Oh, we just we just got a free walk. Hey. Well, I didn't know that was a rule. Obviously, they've patched that in recently, but it works for me. Uh, yeah, let's strike two. All right, get your head back in the game, Beaver. That was, a, that was a judgment call. Beaver has ended up not succeeding there, where he has not succeeded on several occasions previously. Here's Coral. Cindy's on second. Here's Coral. Coral now at bats. Everyone likes Coral's success because she's been good for us. She's been probably our most liked player this season. Everybody's still hanging in there for Cindy, obviously, because she's, you know, part of the furniture at this point. She's been in the team since day one. Uh, but uh, Coral is a bright spark this season. Like Shandy Worthless. Shandy Worthless has been a bright spark this season. That one's outside the range. Yeah, two and two counts. That one's high. Okay, yeah, where are we going with this? Uh, we'll foul that one off because it was in it was in the, the neutral zone and I didn't really know where it was going. That's low! Coral! It's low! Oh! Knackers! It was low and slow and she bit on it. Well and truly suckered. And that does bring up Shandy Worthless with two outs. Cindy could quite happen. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The Shandy Worthless drought is over, everybody. And that's a home run. The team's leading home run hitter has put one in at just the right moment. That's his 13th of the year. BDP are back in the game. 
where they want to be. Here comes Rico Yardline. Rick and a Rick. Rickus Yardline. Okay, Rickus. Yeah. All right. There we go. All right. Let's have it. Yeah. Ball two. Nothing doing for Rickus so far. There's ball three. Rickus is not into it at all. Uh, Caesar, yeah, 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 throw something legit, but I mean, obviously I'm not gonna, oh, I'm not gonna hit that one. And Rickus gets his second walk of the day. He knows a what's up, and what's up is this pitcher is hopeless. Here's Cookie Peaches Wallace. She's had an afternoon, a double, uh, a couple of singles. She's batted in runs. She's uh, been a solid member of the outfit, and uh, Rickus is speedy, isn't he? Yep, he's gone. It was a bit slow off the draw there, but he's good enough to steal the base. <laughs> yeah. That one's in the dirt. Go again then, Rickus. Go on, son. And he's round to third. Oh, boy. Errors have been made. And that's a base hit. But with Rickus on third, we're in. And that's another run. Come on, son. That's the ticket. It's Santino Bananas. I'm going to let him swing because I don't want to burn through any more pitches. Uh, and Bug Eye Caesar is Dunzor. Mulawab the Verbose, the closing pitcher, is coming in to try and lock this one down. But he hasn't got a lot of stamina. Just soak up some pitches then. And it's Santino, so it doesn't really matter what happens here. Yeah. Yeah. Just keep throwing them, Verbose, man. Yeah, you're trying too hard, mate. You're in your own head. You want to stop being in your own head quite so much. All right, Santino, swing if you can be bothered. He can be bothered. He will be out. But he did take a few, uh, a few going on there. All right, excellent work. At the bottom of the eighth. Uh, well, at the end of the eighth, Bulldozer Power now lead 12 to 9. <laughs> hey, how about that? That's not bad. Uh, we're, we're into the ninth inning. Here's Jojo Football. Tell you what, Santino. I'm going to sit you. Yep. Which means I should have brought in a pinch hitter. Yeah, no, I wasn't thinking. Uh, let's sub him for uh, Quebec Spire. All right, Quebec. Who can throw a vast ball? All right, Quebec. Let's flip and go, son. Quebec Spire, everybody. Two pitches. One is a fast ball, which is fast. Uh, one is a curve ball, which is curvy. And that's all, they, all that she's got. Quebec Spire, closing pitcher. And uh, can she pull curtains over the minstrel's aspirations for this game? That's the end of that metaphor. Yep. That one's a bit wild. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Stop, stop thinking so much. Just throw it on target. Thank you. All right. There you go. All right. There you go. No more thinking. Lots more throwing. That's a good pitch. Get off. Beautiful strike out there from Quebec Spire doing exactly what we pay her to do. That's the stuff. Uh, it's Java T, who, uh, who has done nothing so far today, but does have a double. And that's not bad. Um, but that's strike one. Yeah, that's going to worry him. Yeah, he should be worried. Because Quebec Spire is in the house and throwing off targets. Uh, when Quebec Spire throws off target, you know that somewhere someone else is on target. We need this one on target. That's good. No. Nope. Okay. All right. Uh, what do you want? Bendy or straight? Uh, let's go. Let's go straight. All right. Wah! Nope. Okay. All right. Yep. This tight trousered individual is taking his time. Yeah, yeah. Wasting mine. Yeah, taking my time. Yeah, wasting his own. <sighs> Just throw the ball. Hit the ball. Oh, what a surprise. It's yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, if only I could do this to them. I should practice hitting the ball foul with pictures. <laughs> Nothing makes me happier than you fouling off 12 and then getting struck out. Here's Clem flipping rigid. Um, who has three hits today, all of them doubles. All of them. But we are on two outs, and, uh, and BDP can go home if we can just put this one away. You know, we might walk him. 
Yeah, there is a button for intentional walk, you know. Uh, maybe it's here. Press the right trigger. Uh, auto walk. Take it, mate. Oh, get out of it. There you are. No, I don't want to face you. Number right, 14. is Xena dark? Yeah, we are. Come on in, Xena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quebec. Let's let's go showtime. Let's go. Clap, clap. Strike. Good. Strike one. All right. Okay. Bends one in. Nice. That one's got out of centre field, though, which is not what we wanted. No. Uh, okay. So a home run here. I know. Ties the game back up again. Is Cliff Goat screen? He does have a home run today already. Zena Dark is out. They're bringing in Londo Archer, which is a mistake. There's no sense in this at all. Uh, I mean, Londo Archer's got speed, but he's got a player ahead of him who's also fast. They're going to try all kinds of miscellaneous stealing action. All right. Well, if anybody gets the ball, throw it at home. Or wh whatever gets someone out. That, it's, it's all good. Yeah, everything counts. In, uh, in large or small amounts in this case. Good. Strike out to Quebec. Fading fast. Go on, Quebec. Fouled off. Come on. Get it done. Get it done. Quebec expire. Quebec expire. Good pitch. Fooled nobody. Uh-oh. It looks like one of your pitches is tight. Am I new here? Look at how many games I've played. Quebec is trying to win the game. I could take her out. I could, I should take her out. Take her out. Oh, we just, I would, uh, patronizing flipping tutorial that I don't want. I've, I turn all tutorials off, you know. All of them. All of them. Tools? Yeah. Or Betty? Yeah, come on, Betty. Let's rock. Oh, it's the floater, everybody. She's poor across multitude of different pitches. And gets it. That was Quebec's strikeout, and you know it. But that is a bulldozer power win right there. Whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the bulldozer power win. That's how the popular tune goes. Uh, it's a close fought game, right up until the point that it wasn't a close fought game, which was when it was a close fought game. Uh, strikeouts across the board. 11 strikeouts for, uh, for the minstrels. One for us. Just shocking. Shocking. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of lovely bonus bases, which is also great. Um, yeah. Two home runs for them, two home runs for us, but both of our home runs. No, what? Really? No, we gave up two home runs. Oh, both teams giving up two home runs. Yes. Beretta, a very nice performance, is not awarded the win, which seems a little bit cheap, if you ask me. A little on the cheap side. Uh, Andrews chucks a tenner in the bucket to celebrate the BDP victory. Uh, would have bought a BDP uh, celebratory shirt if one were available, which it isn't. Uh, so that seems like a uh, an inadequate backup prize there. Uh, good. Right. Super. Yeah, three stars of the afternoon. I'm surprised that Clem Rigid there getting a nod. Well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he played an absolute belter of the game for the losing team. Uh, followed by Cookie Peaches Wallace. And in Plastic Vicar. What? How? Uh, it was two for five. Yeah. He had a home run and three runs batted in. I don't, I don't buy into that. I don't get it. No. Uh, Tyler Cram has chucked in 25 bucks. Thank you, Tyler. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, as I say, it was a great game. Yeah. We're going to look at some stats. We're going to play the CPU games. And uh, we'll see. What, oh, look, it's a manager moment. Oh, brilliant. Well, I've taken the last pack of breath mints. Who am I going to, who am I going to make hate me more? Carlton, you're largely disposable. Yeah. Go on. There you go. Yeah, he, he hate me. Well, he only get to play when, you know, I mean, Julius Hardware is available on the free agency. So if I wanted a player to hate, I'd come up with one. Anyway, Vuvu boys against Policia Transport. Police Transport win. Fairywood Hills now taking on Shady Palms. Shady Palms making it look easy. 10 to 4. Budget Roadies taking on the Beekeepers. And the game's almost finished. Budget have won that one. Marsupials now against the Fire Chefs. It's an easy run for the sweaty marsupials. The Sports Ball Union facing off against Cheerio Incorporated. Close. Cheerio came back, but Sportsball win it. Failure in action again against the Nomads. 2-1 final score. 
Uh, Grazer Edge against the Toy Masters. Toy Masters l from nowhere won that one. Vuvu Boys now up against Picks Creek Miners, and they hold on to a victory. It seems like an underdog kind of a week. Ports Megan Pirates, Shady Palms, Pirates 8-1. Uh, the Fire Chefs at it again against the Sunshine Fun Bus, 3-1 final score. Uh, Lingo Blend now gets Colonel School. Colonel School win that. Sweaty Marsupials against the Steganauts. A team won that one. Starlines of Human Resources lose to Budget Roadies, whatever the team's called. Uh, the Medics now in action against the Minstrels. The Minstrels bouncing back after their terrific loss just now. Uh, Colonel Space Agency against the Wizard Hole Wizards was won by one of those teams. Because um, it moves so fast, I can't keep track of it. Uh, let's have a look at the divisions. Well, BDP are no longer bottom. Uh, but we have rebounded off the bottom at least once before. Uh, the Fire Chefs are now below us. Leading the Bombastic is the Grunt Auto Group. Uh, 17 wins for them, 11 losses. We are on 11 and 17. With a 40-something game season, 46, 48, it's one of those two. It, we're going to be hard-pressed. We're over halfway through the season now. Um, I'm going to be hard-pressed to pull that one back around, but obviously we could. Uh, in the wood chipper, it is Failure Wood Hills up top on 19 wins sunshine fun bus chasing behind on 17 in the whoop whoop we've got a tie at the top although the pathfinders have a game in hand over the sweaty marsupials uh hopping over into the bad company conference no man's are up top 19 wins nine losses they are the team to beat this season uh wizard hole wizards in second with 17 wins at the bottom is grazer ridge with 12 that's not that awful uh, obviously, I've only got 11, so it's really not that awful. In the Zesty Division, the Beekeepers have 18 wins so far. Uh, putting them two games ahead of the Ob City Axemen. And in the Sloganator, it's the Budget Roadies out front, but only by a game. Cheerio Incorporated right behind them. Let's look at some league leaders, and then we'll play a second game. <gasps> two games in one sitting who'd have thought it uh the current season leaders across all disciplines when you average things out right now number one desmond eyeliner i don't know if you've heard of him or not he's a pitcher and he is number one he plays for failurewood uh brad adidas in second justine vanderpool in third followed by three from bdp cindy shandy cookie you know the names you know the players you know what they're up to uh, for batting, the batting average of 451 puts Cindy Vapid top of that table. Although, Cookie, no, other one, Coral. Coral has a higher batting average than that. I suspect she is falling foul of not having enough at-bats to qualify. Possibly, don't really know, uncertain. Bernard Dunk's in there as well. Nice. As is Chubbs and Cookie and Valerie and Richard. If only we could turn the hits into wins, that would be a winner. Shani Worthless leads the league in home runs ahead of Bum Soz and Mansell Kettle Chips. Uh, Jack Rasputin, Exponential Tyrone, Margot, Spatula, Job Scott Dunn, and uh, Christine Lemonade, Perry Salinas, and Sog Fundament are also in the running there on nine, all tied there. Runs batted in. Shandy is number one. He's a big dog and no mistake. Uh, Lance Bonanza is seven behind for RBI. Pretty good stuff. Uh, then we're into one base average. Well, whatever. Yeah, we're in there a bit. Slugging. Yeah, we do some of that. On base and slugging. Obviously, we were into the other two, so we'll be in this one as well. Bum Soz there making a good showing in both. For hits, well, it's uh, who's who of PDP, isn't it? Cindy with 55 leads the league. Uh, in second and third, tied, so second or third, depends on your mood. Um, Chubbs and Cookie. You've got uh, Dickie Yardline and Valerie Hammock are also in the top ten, which is pretty impressive. Extra base hits, Caffeinated Horsemeat and Bum Soz are one and two, both of whom play for Shady Palms. Obviously, they're quite good. And being struck out, Hair Bear gets struck out more than anybody else in the history of the universe. Uh, former Bulldozer Power players Furious Spongebath and Bam Bam Puckai are in that list as well. Actually, did Vera Contagion play for us? I can't remember. If she did, she would have been a backup. I can't I can't recall if she ever played for us or not. For runs scored, Valerie Hammock's in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stolen bases, it's Crotch Dangle flag leading the way, ahead of Zenith Dark. Um, and then there's a drop-off of a couple before you get to... Well, look at those, Ulysses Failure. The former BDP captain is in there. Oh, that's, that's nice to see. Uh, being caught stealing. 
Dandelion witness, Spock Bumson, who gets caught for a lot of things. Uh, Plastic Vicar, Jig Spongiform, Kimberly Freightmaster. St. Crabthorn, Dean Von Magruder, Vanessa Hammock, uh, and uh, Chloe Hairnet. Tied for three each. And I guess at that point, they stopped doing it. They did. Yeah, they did. Yeah. For wins are some pitchers. Yeah. Soak it in, drink it in, lap it up. Uh, earned run average, same deal. Pitchers, lots of them. Saves some more pitchers uh then we go into some more pitching stats for you whip uh for those who swing that way uh michael train gamer certainly seems to be in the mood uh the opponent opposing batting average cool and have butter and michael train gamer both of whom play for the grazer ridge really are not allowing that many of things and for strikeouts bubbly merchandise makes it into the top 10 tied with former teammate desmond eyeliner and that'll, that'll about do it. There's some, there's some more stuff about pitchers, but frankly, we got bored of pitchers a while ago, so uh, there's that. Who's up next? <laughs> well, I want a drink, um, and then we'll then we'll do what's next. Ah, good. I've even got one of these screens. Look, I can do this. Yeah, look at that. Look, or just in case the things need to happen, but I don't need to press that. Um, so, goody gumdrops. It's Peninsula Transport. There's a reason you don't do these back to back. What's that? You talk way more than you do doing anything else. But Bubbly Merchandise is pitching for us, and I'm excited. Right. Both Shandy and Bernard are still harboring slight wounds. Okay. Richard Yardline's mood is positive. Okay. Dunk, get out of there. You're hopeless. Batting order, drop him down to bottom. Yeah. Bernard Dunk. He always he looked good and then he stopped looking good. What do you think? Chubbs in second? Uh yeah. Could do. Yeah, let's go Chubbs second. Yeah. Chubbs second. Yeah. What are you doing? I don't know. Chubbs, yes. Batting order, yes. Move up one. Yes. Thank you. Cindy doesn't want to play second. No. No, 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 no. Uh, the Electro Sports <laughs> logo looks terrific on an OLED. Amazing. Are there any players available on waiver? We'll have a look after this game. But it usually pops up in the uh, in the old uh, the story ticker kind of deal if someone big has been cut. Uh, I'm quite happy to cut just about anybody if I could get a better player in. Um, yeah, we'll we'll do a little bit of uh, of team management after the the following game. Uh, I'll give you a pro no Ashley you've had the stats to go and get another drink and nobody's interested in the flaming stats we do them though because they're stats and that's a thing uh, good are we into it are we going I think we're into it and I also think we're going right let's uh, let's rock and roll all right we're away good times we're at home again oh good see I usually cut this bit even if I include the team selection, I cut this bit for you. Yeah, done. There you are. Excitement is in the air here at Colonial Plaza. Mind your step on the sticky floors. It's time for the ball game. In no way confusing, it's two teams who favour orange as a dominant colour. Terrific. Uh, that's that's going to work in our favour. Uh, they've got Cramp Inquisitor coming up first. And, uh, oh, he's, he's, they're much darker orange than we are. Yeah. And then he's got some turquoise pants going on as well, which is lovely. The teams look completely different. What are you belly aching about? I couldn't tell you. Anyway, here is our one fastball thrower. And it is Bubbly Merchandise. She's good, everybody. Yeah. Tim's upgrading his seat. Nice one, Tim. Uh, and that's, that's all good. Uh, yeah. Right. Now then, what should we do second? Do another fastball. Yeah, that way he won't see whatever isn't a fastball coming. Yeah, it'll be going like, it's going to be another fastball. And I'll go, ha, 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 but it isn't. No, no, you've thrown three fastballs in a row now. You're not going to fall in with anything. I might. No, he's fouled it off. Okay. All right. Just start throwing them. Yep. Yep. We'll try and keep bubbles as fit as we can for as long as we can. Anyway, nice piece of fielding from Hammock. And that's the first out. Third Sorry, I've got number seven. Julio hassle from a Lobster. piece of airborne detritus in my, in my eyes still. 
but you know you usually can't see this you know i'm happily bouncing in the top uh, corner of the screen that's not part of the game that's me yeah no i'm here and doing it and things Hooy. yeah okay right. yeah keep throwing the ball that's the secret of the game chubbs is oh okay fall over chubbs i don't care uh, right okay giving up a base hit can't get your head in the game Here's Aurora Tundra, third up to bat. Is only batting 187 this season. Uh, which is, I mean, it's disappointing for her. But, I mean, there'll be good reason for it. Um, on paper, it doesn't look like she's a bad player. Maybe she just has, she has poor luck when uh, when the game is deciding for it. Yeah, evidently, look, there's a base hit. Yeah. Runners now first and second with one out. Here's Clamorous Thrapple. Uh, he's a sprinter, apparently. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but apparently he, he can shift uh, when the mood presents itself. Uh, maybe when there's a discount on donuts. Anyway, that one is off the back fence, and uh, Dick can't find it. And as a result, we've given up a triple. How about it? The catcher, number 47. Wicked is Trace Attitude. She used to play for us. Yeah. I don't even know if, if the Trace Attitude Ultras are still a part of the collective or not, but uh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. Eric has chucked five bucks in the bucket. Uh, just wanted to tell us good luck. We're all counting on you. Um, thank you. I, I appreciate an airplane quote. Uh, Chubbs is going claiming that one. And has it. There's a second out. Well, we went down four three. in the last Number game, 14. so we can do that again. I mean, we've demonstrated our ability to do that. Here's Viscount Heat. Okay, nice sunglasses. Viscount, if that is your name. Which it possibly is. I doubt it's a title. No, no, he's American. No, they don't do that kind of thing. No. Oh, bit hard on a bit of a vicious, uh, bit of a vicious curve there. Anyway, that's gone. Chubbs dives under it. Excellent work, Chubbs. Dick will pick that one up in centre field. Uh, Kevin's spent a fiver on a hot dog. Virtual. This is a role-playing stream. Everyone gets to pretend whatever they like apart from the money. Look, I don't make the rules. You people made the rules. I'm, I'm just benefiting from them, so there's that. Anyway, they've got a run in then. Hooray for them. Yeah. Come on, Bubbly. You're supposed to be our best. She is our best. But they've all come out fresh-faced and bouncy-tailed and are, and are looking... Why did you even swing at that, you clown? Who is it? It's only MC Kaiser Extreme. Oh, of course. Yeah. Nice. Yep. Okay. And something something swift to finish them. All right. They are. Finish him! Lovely job. Well, we got there eventually, but not before we gave up three runs. It's okay. First innings aren't my thing today. Too right. Uh, to be honest, they're rarely my thing. <sighs> okay, three for Peninsula Transport is Valerie Hammock. She had a 50-50 kind of a game last time around. 50% uh, and 50% uh, Yeah. Who's pitching? Uh, don't know. Hang on. It's... Don't know. It's... Denzel Wilder Wilderness. Smooth. Anyway, she's out. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Here's Chubbs Beaver. Yeah. All right, Chubbs. In his new position, at second at bat. Is he going to do good with this or what? I'd love a look at Wilderness's numbers. Uh, but it flips into the next pitch so quickly. You ain't a chance. Uh, he's out as well anyway. Uh, here's Cindy. Cindy Vapids. And, uh, and she played in the way that we know Cindy Vapid can in the last game. And she split the infield and she'll make her way to first base. I believe she already leads the league in hits. And that has built on that lead even further. It's Coral success. Uh, batting 459. Yep, that would still put her in the top 10. I think Cindy was only 460 or something like that. No, it's 450 maybe. I don't know. It's got to be the number of at bats. Anyway, Coral there gets a hit, and we're in the danger zone. Two on, two out. Yeah, and it falls to Shandy Worthless to uh, to turn up the gas pressure. 
and uh, and lift this balloon well into the sky. Shandy, are you able to adjust the canister? Shandy Worthless. Shandy Worthless. His name is Shandy Worthless. Whoa, hey, whoa, fooled on that one. That was a halfway decent pitch, though. Shandy, not makes the pitcher. He'll get on base and load him up. We've gone for it, but it's too late. It's not too late. We've got to run. Okay. All right. All is not lost. Here's Dick Yardline. And uh, he's got to try and recover from big Dick Yardline by, uh, by making amends for that double that gave up runs and everything in the, last, in the defensive half of this inning. Come on, Dick. Do it for us. We know he's good when he wants to be. That'll do. That'll do, Dick. That'll do. We're not going for it. No. I think I've got a big old slow coach there uh, on third. Bases are loaded. Is Cookie Peaches Wallace. She is, on paper, our best hitter. But there's a reason she's dropped down the batting order. Uh, and that is because of a failure to execute. All right. That's not a failure to execute, though. No, that's a base hit. And that will do nicely. There's another run. Come on! Here's Bernard. Oh, no. Dunk. The catcher. Big Bernie Dunk. Bernie Dunk waiting his time. I've, got, I've, had, a, I've had a look at Wilderness's numbers. He's got a good fastball. That one time. Yeah. Come on, Bernard. Come on, Bernard. Oh, it was, it was so close. Yeah. Yeah. He's gone for it, but it's not going to work. And that will be the end of that. But we did at least get a couple of runs before the engine stalled. And at the end of the first inning, well, it's already a buttock clencher. It's 3-2. to two, Peninsula Transport in the lead. And Denzel Wilderness is next up now to bat. Oh, he's juiced. Yeah, he's juiced. He's on the uppers and downers and the ones that make you go sideways. Ah, come on, Bubbly. Bubbly's already had to throw flipping 19 pitches to get out of the first inning. So we need to, we need to get us some solid uh, quick time defense here in the second. That one's gone out to center field. Yardline reckons he's got it because he does. Okay. Center fielder, number 10. Ooh, in Zebulon crankshafts. Bottom of the batting order. Uh, she's got a special helmet that allows a ponytail out the back of it. I'd have one of those as well. But obviously, uh, I'd need one with a special cleft ridgy kind of a deal out the top. Otherwise, you get helmet hair, and that doesn't do anybody any good. Least of all the fans. Who, in some cases, are only turning up to see the hairstyles on display. That one's gone. Ah, but Shandy's got it. Come on, Shand. Lovely job out number two. Good Left defending team. Uh, it's Cramp Inquisitor up again. Uh, 0 for 1 for him so far. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, that one's just wide. That would be a nice third pitch there. Not so hot as a first pitch. Where's it going? Cindy. Got it. Throws it. Get off my field. All done. Easy does it. Squared away. And uh, BDP coming up to bat, and it's going to be Bubbly who's first in. Bubbly is not what you might call a big hitter. So we're going to let her stand here for a bit. Strike one. Yep. Strike two. If you like the looks of it, have a swing, Bubbles. That one was high, Bubbles. You shouldn't have swung at that one. But hey, I mean... Whatever, that's not what we pay you for. Is Valerie Hammer? Mind Weevil's deployed. Uh, Wilderness is looking pretty good. He's, uh, I mean, I think he's probably a B minus, B plus, possibly. Uh, pitcher in the old pitcher ratings chart. Uh, but obviously, that much. The speed of that one caught me out, and I'm gone. Yeah. No, that was on me. Can't blame Val for that one. That was definitely my fault. Here's Chubbs Beaver, and we're two outs already. But uh, BDP are at their most dangerous when they've got two out. Chubbs, honestly, although how you got away with that, Chubbs Beaver with the impossible hit there. Uh, any, any shortstop worth their salt should have been able to pick that one off. Uh, that will bring up Cindy. 
Yeah, are we going to try steering with Chubbs? No. Chubbs is pretty good at several things, but stealing is not one of them. However, that's a double from Cindy. Chubbs, come on, run like you mean it, son. Run like you mean it. Chubbs gets in, Cindy gets a double, is Coral success. And the BDP having done all their work so far after being two down. Uh, that's, that's not bad going. Here's Coral. All right, Coral. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa! Ah! Oh, again, the pacing of these pitches is... Oh, that's the second time I've had a misread on the pace of the thing. Which is why that was a late swing, and it's out. Whew. At the end of two, it's three all. I promised you a ball game. And now here's a second ball game. Here's Julio Lobster. Uh, got himself a single from his first at bat. He's only on 260 this season. Hardly all-star capabilities. But uh, the way I play teams, everybody could be an all-star by the end of the day. So we shouldn't really uh, cast a gun. See? Because of that. That's a flipping double. Every day of the week, double. If it gets to the fence, you're getting two or more bases. Dang, damn it. Yeah, here's Aurora Tundra. Well... She came into today uh, with a 187 batting average. She's now on 194. She's going, maybe they will offer me an extension on my contract if I can get over 200. So she's motivated. The question is, is Bubbly merchandise? Now, Bubbly is a legacy player on the team and therefore gets some special dispensation. Good strikeout. Yep, back to 187 you go. Or, well, split the difference. Probably on 190. Uh, it's Thlamour, Clamorous Thrapple who got a triple thanks to that idiotic flipping fence play in the first inning. One out, runner on second, bubbly merchandise, Cindy Vapids, Richard Yardline. Oh dear. Runners now at the corners. That's, that's loads of people trying to make a play. I'm not just reading out player names. I've got more to do with my time than that. Uh, no, no, no. I was trying to tell you who could possibly make a difference. Uh, here's Trace Attitude, and Bubbly's already starting to look a bit tired. No, she's she's allowed the game. The pressure of the game is getting to her, which is our, our number one pitcher really shouldn't be the case. Don't be so fragile. Pull it together. All right, found that one off. Now, just shoot a rocket up the middle. No, 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 no. All right. Shoot a cheeky rocket in from the side. That's not bad. Not enough swerve. All right. That's good. Not enough swerve. <laughs> swerve it more, Bubbles. Too much swerve. Ball three. That's the full count. Bubbly, get out of your own head. Oh, no. Speaking of being out of her head, well, she's she's going to... Oh, dear. I think Bubbly might be dead. Uh, it took her a moment or two to feel that one, but she's properly feeling it. And she's got a body contusion. A body contusion. Which uh, is a synonym for, uh, for she got smacked white right proper there. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, bum. All right, come on, Tools, you're in. I've, I need someone who can last a few innings. Oh, dearie me. Well, this game's about to get away from us. Uh, ooh, ah, oh dear. Ah, well, I promised you a ball game, everybody. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you, you couldn't get, you couldn't ask for more. Um, well, you probably could. You could probably ask for bubbly flipping merchandise not to be wounded. That's a pretty good hit. I could have made yard line dive at that one, but I'm not gonna. No. Things are starting to look a little bit onerous right now. That's another run in. We've got runners on second and third. And one out. And we're trying to get a decent game out of Tools of Ghast. And for those of you who know the team, which should be several of you, Tools of Ghast is not the player you try and get that kind of performance out of. Oh, oh dearie. Oh, gracious me. Anyway, we've got an out there. Here's Denzel Cheating Wilderness. Uh, who's still high as a kite and somehow able to perform. Let's uh, strike one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good pitch. 
I wasn't, uh, didn't, didn't quite dip in. That would have been an absolute belter of a hoop, that one. That one's straight up the gut, and that'll be another run. They're getting away from us. Yep. Here's Crankshaft. They've got a runner on first and two outs. Tools, please don't give up too many more runs. I'm not saying none, because that's, that's way too much to hope for. Yep. It's, it's all about don't give up too many more. That one's all over the place. And somehow they got it. Yep. Oh, dear. Yep. All right. Runners now first and second. Number 24. Here's Cramp Inquisitor, who so far has failed to get a hit today, but now he's facing a different kind of pitcher. A bad one. He was facing a good pitcher who wasn't performing very well. Now here's a bad pitcher who isn't performing very well, but I can't start dipping into the relievers just yet. Anyways, pop that one up like some kind of wazzock. Shandy's yelling for it and has it. That could have been a lot worse. Although it was already worse. Yeah. All right, okay. Time to dig deep. Time to, uh, time to get the bat on. Time to, uh, you know, show them who's showing them things. Shandy Worthless, his mood is on point. He got us a single last time around. Same again would do just fine. No. This controller is very sensitive. Usually you can do like a half press and then change your mind and, and, and pull the uh, swing. But this is all, this one's full commitment. Here's Dick. Ah, uh, Dick. What are we, uh, what are we looking at here? Dick gets himself on base. And that means if I time it right, he's got himself on second base. Neil has chucked two bucks in the bucket with a happy new year to everybody. Thank you, Neil. That is cookie. All right, Dick, you feeling it? Not on the first pitch. Not on the first pitch, but I'm ready. Go, Dick. Go, Dick, go. Go, Dick, go. Go, Dick, go, go. Obviously, the pitcher has a decent arm. That's strike two. Yeah. But we know that now. I mean, you don't want to learn that for the first time when the game's on the line. Right, stealing is off the menu. Looks like stealing's back off the menu, boys, as they say in Mordor. Uh, is Bernie Dunk? Hi, Bernard. Bernard. Bernardo. Flipping. He used to be great. We used to talk about how much we liked his hair, and now we just talk about how much he sucks. Bernard disappointment there, everybody, and we're all out. And at the end of three, Peninsula Transport have seven. Bulldozer Power have three. Just saying. Now batting, the Not baseman, good enough. And we're, we're pitching with tools of gas, which is a terrible position to be in, given that we, uh, we put violence through the ringer just moments ago. And then Santino Bananas, who will probably be fit enough to play today. Um... But Bert won't be, and uh, and it's flaming it, and we killed our closer as well. Yep. Yeah. Okay. We're we're thin on relievers. Yes, we are. Anyway, Valerie will field that one. Keep up beat, man. Keep up beat. I'm just. I mean, just defensively. You know, it's going to be tricky defensively to make this happen. It's. I mean, we've got to we've got to dig deep, work hard, make this flaming Nora. Aurora Tundra is a really good player. Yeah, how's she only got a 193 batting average? I don't know. She is a really good player. No, I mean, like, she is a monstrously good player. Anyway, she's hit that one to Richard Yardline, who will quite happily take it home. There it is. Yeah. Justice for Dunk? I don't think so, Dominic. I mean, look, he's got to prove it again. I mean, seriously. I mean, until he proves it, he's just a big nothing. Anyway, here's Clamorous Thrapple. That's a nice pitch. Yeah, it was. Okay. Yeah. 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 Keep at it, Aghast. I mean, you're never going to get that many strikeouts, but just avoid giving up too many runs, and that'll be a good thing. That's sort of. It is sort of. Can Cookie get there? Nope. And there's the double. Yep. Yep. But there's two outs. Two outs. Our outs are two. Is Trace Attitude. All right. 
tools. Have you got anything for us in your uh, in your trick book there? That's all right. Yep, foul. All right, bend another one. Yeah, he's bending another one. He's... Uh oh. Yeah, that one made a big noise. How far do you think it's gone? That, about that far. Upper deck in the centre. Trace Attitude punishes that one for all of its previous misdemeanours. They've been added up and allotted. The judge has Not looked bad. at them the and uh, the sentence 14. is death. Is Viscount Heat. <sighs> yeah, no, stay positive. I'm staying positive. Right, okay. Yeah. Stroke one. Excellent. Excellent play. Well done, Tools. Good work, Tools. And that one. Fantastic. He found that one off. Excellent. Brilliant. Ah, oh, we're going to get it for sure. Try the change up. It might work. Yeah! There it is. Tools of Gas gets a strike out off the change up. Woo! Yes, sir. It's all good. And uh, <laughs> more damage is done. Tools is now at bat. We can't substitute him. Because we're, we're pretty low on players we've substituted for. But he is batting for 44 this year. Okay. Yeah, use up a couple of pitches. Will Co. Because uh, Wilderness is not a bad pitcher. He's a good pitcher. And he's on drugs. All right. Don't use a couple of pitches up. See if I care. It's sunk late as well. You shouldn't have, seen, yeah, shouldn't have swung on it. Here's Valerie. She's not having a game so far. 0 for 2. Here at the bottom of the fourth. Yeah, yeah. She'll be she'll get there though. She's got it. No, she hasn't got it. Not if you swing at that. Andrew's chucking a fiver in to go and buy a strong drink to drown his sorrows. Might I recommend methylated spirits? You get quite a lot of that for a fiver. You can drown an awful lot with that one. There you go, there's a base hit. Yeah, well, what do you know? We've got two out already. There's a shocker. <laughs> right, here comes Cindy, everybody. Cindy back in. She's two for two. She's got a single. She's got a double. She's got a run batted in. She's got a winning personality. And, uh, yeah. And, and what? And that's it. That's, that's really all there is. All right, Cindy. That's a hit, but it's not. It's out. No. Yeah. No. Quit swinging the rubbish. I know. 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 I had a period of swinging the rubbish there. Hey, it happens. And that's why this game is so good. Even this one, which is not as good as the last one, it's so good because, much like the real thing, you've got to keep your mind at peace. Otherwise, there will be dilemmas and crises. Speaking of which, his tools are gassed. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Getting getting foot. That was a fastball, everybody. Couldn't crack 90 miles an hour. Yeah. Tools. Not a fastball thrower. Still. <laughs> Who's this? MC Kaiser Extreme is so far whiffing. Uh, like like it's never been whiffed before. Maybe the maybe the change up will work. I don't know. Yep. <laughs> Nothing but air. Oh, Three times Picture in a row. And that's got tools pumped up. Here's Denzel Juiced. Uh, and there he is. I mean, look at him bouncing around. Someone's urine test is going the wrong way. Well, only if they take one, obviously. But uh, there you are. Stop it, tools. Just pitch a ball. You anticipated that, did you? Well, obviously, I've thrown it before. How you anticipated it is anybody's guess. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Chuck something curvy. Okay. Nope. Yeah. Uh, for those tuning in late, uh, Bubbly Merchandise was pitching for us today, but she's dead now. Uh, anyway, that's another strikeout. Tools. Two up, two down on a strikeout so far in this inning. That's not bad for a terrible pitcher. Here's Zebulon Crankshaft, who's looking to perform better than she has done so far. And uh, I'll tell you, Tools is the kind of guy that will oblige a lady, that kind of thing, if she asks nicely. Good pitch. Uh, Valerie will wrap that one up. And that's a good one. Laudry has chucked 30 of the Swedish crowns into the bucket. And there's a bowling pin going. Congratulations, you've won! 
fist bumping tools of gas there, and that's arguably more arguably that's a word uh, more than he deserves. Um, his coral success has a single to a name in the game so far. Bottom of the fifth, Wilderness has pitched approximately 60 so far today. Coming up on 60 now. So he's got a couple more innings in him, if they want it. And they probably will. That's a goner. Here comes Shandy. Shandy has a single today and a run batted in. Uh, okay, come on, Shandy. No rush. Let's get this first pitcher out of the way. And hope that they've got a reliever who we can light up. All right. Or don't. It was a lovely pitch, though. It was a lovely pitch. But you're still out. Here's Dick, who has two for two on the hits today. Yeah, I've not forgiven him for the first inning. Okay. All right. Yeah, clonk that one off into the crowd. Yeah. Waits that one out. Very good. Good boy. Well done. That one was high, but I didn't know if it was high enough to have been out. That's out. Uh, but that's not good. At the end of five innings, BDP trail 9-3 to three against Peninsula Transport. And the way we're playing right now, I can't see that changing until they change their picture. And we haven't killed their picture in a while. So... There you go. Here's Cramp Inquisitor. Round for another go. Right. Torres throws in the first one, and it's straight up the gut. Yard line will field that one. One ball, one hit. Oh dear. Yeah, they've they've come they've come to play in this inning. Here's Julio Lobster. He's got a double and a single from his three at bats. All right, that one's inside. Yeah, yeah. Go nothing but bends. Nothing but the bends. Okay. Strike one. Yeah, good. All right, come on, tools. That's pretty much the same pitch again, but it's good. Beaver chucks the second, chucks the first, and it's a double play. Yeah. How about it? Okay, and that's a comeback right there. That's what you call it. Uh, well into it. Here's Aurora Flaming Nora, uh, based on her stats, Tundra. Uh, I think she's got t tiger makeup on as well, which is curious, but I know. I mean, you're, I mean, you're allowed to rock up in Spider-Man face paint if you decide to. Uh, I mean, that's, that's your choice. Anyway, she splattered that one up the field, and yard line will field it. And that's a runner back on first. Two outs. Here's Clamorous Flaming Nora Thrapple. Uh, yeah, he's another Flaming Nora player. He's had a double, a triple, a single, two runs batted in, and he's three for three. All right. Yeah. Tools, don't be nervous, but we're going to try and get him out, okay? All right. Ball. Oh, man. Do it again. Swing and a foul. Okay, good. Well, that's a hit. Yes, it is. I know. I know. Anyway, they've still got two outs. That gives us lots of opportunities to get another one. Here's Trace Attitude, and she only has a home run today, as well as a single and three runs batted in. So, there's that. Uh, right. What should we throw? Well, they're probably expecting bendy ones. So, let's do two bendy, and then see if we can fall them on a straight. If we get that far. That one's fouled off. Okay. Yeah. High bendy. Yeah. Nice. Good. Okay. And now something that's in. That's lovely. Oh. Yep. Yep. Oh, it's off the fence. Yard line is underneath it. Over committing to the fielding play there. And yard line gives up a double and two runs. Oh, dick. Yep. Uh, here's Viscount Heat. Oh, <laughs> This one's getting away from us. Yard line's going to make the catch or I'll kill him. And he's, uh, he's got the catch. Oh, poo. Yeah, that was almost going well. The double play there made me think that maybe we could turn it around. Maybe if we continued to perform. But we didn't continue to perform and everything was horrible. I'm going to have to change the picture. It's going to have to be done. It's going to have to be done. Here's Cookie Peaches Wallace. She's two for two. Alright. Doesn't waste any time. 
And that's a nice hit. Not quite far enough for her to get a double. But she's on base. Killer! Here's Bernard. God damn dunk. Yeah. All right. Bernard, if you ever felt like playing, might I suggest now? Now is a good time to turn it on. There's still enough game left that we can win this, but only if you get it done, which he's not doing with that. Caught out there in left field. His tools get off. Yeah, he's tired. He's, he's had enough. I'm not getting any more pitching out of him today. He's, he's, he's done enough. All right, Reverend Joe has been reliable, and he's in a good mood. Ah, uh, yeah. However, Terry Partizan can, can slap it long. Well, is that what we really need? Yes, we need every player to slap it long. Uh, she hasn't had a game since we substituted her out for performing badly. Johnny Touchdown's consistent on the hitting. Reverend Joe turned it around. Actually, Reverend Joe's our best bet. All right. We might go partisan if we get desperate. Fine. Number yeah. 24. All right. No rush, Joe. Okay. Well, Joe rushed it, and he's going to get himself and his body out. Well done, Joe. Well played. Lovely job. All right, get off. All right, who's coming in? All right, Burt could probably do an inning or two at a push. Santino could probably do two or three innings. Betty Floater can probably get us to the end of the game. Quebec Spire is good for about six pitches. Right. Uh, start with Burt. Start with Burt. No, hold on. Who just batted? Tail end of the order. Uh, yeah, start with Burt. All right. Top of the seventh and BDP trail 11-3. It's not going well, friends. Uh, here's MC Kaiser Extreme, one of the few players who have not played well for Peninsula Transport, but that's about to change. I can feel it in my water, because here comes Bertie Violence. Uh, start with a bendy. Right. Come on, Bertrand. Yeah. Valerie, good stop, good throw, and it's an out. Nice fielding there, team. All right, uh, who we got? It's Denzel Ruddy Wilderness, the pitcher. Ah, right, yeah. That's a halfway decent pitch, yeah. Keep it bendy, and then sucker him with a fastball to finish. You reckon that'll work? No, but that's the plan. Okay, here we go. Uh, really? Yep, suckered him with a fastball, because they're expecting to bend on it, you see? Doesn't matter if it's off target. Being on target means it's a better pitch. You get higher ratios and business and stuff. Uh, but as long as you've done what they're... And as long as they don't anticipate what you're throwing and you throw it, then that happens. See? I tell you, I know things about stuff. All right. Yeah. Do you, though? No, well, I mean, it's anybody's guess, isn't it? But I think that it sounds good in my head, but I'd need to write it down and possibly draw some graphs. Uh, in order to translate it into something with verbiage. There's another strikeout. Burt doing the business there, getting two strikeouts. Lovely job. Uh, Denzel Wilderness with 73 pitches behind him is coming in now at the bottom of the seventh. And Valerie Hammock is going to try and get rid of that donut that she's currently sat on. All right, Val. Eat some pitches. All right. You've got to see more pitches, Val. Got to be seeing some more pitches. That's the stuff. There you go. See, looking at the pitches. Right, now, you're ready when you feel like it. There you go. Val manages to get on base. Good. All right, that's a positive start to the inning. That's probably the only positive thing that will happen in the inning. But it's a positive start, and that's a start. Here's Chubsy Beaver. Uh, Chubsy, what are you saying? Chubsy saying, no, no Chubbs, not the first pitch, leave it alone, leave the first pitch alone. Uh-oh, no, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's not great, but it is good. That's a base hit for Chubbs, and that gives us runners on first and second. Here we are, it's Cindy, who has probably been our best player so far in a hitting sense today, although Coral's done quite well as well. 
but uh, can we can we see a Cindy Vapid Classic? Well, we don't need one at the moment. That's three balls in a row. And that one's low, and that loads the bases up, everybody, with no outs. Come on. Here's Coral. She hasn't played well today. Oh, okay. Obviously, I'm remembering someone else. And Denzel's out of it. Flaming heck. Yeah. You thought Denzel was good. Well, he was on drugs, so that helped. Uh, that's nothing compared to Wendy Drugs, whose name is Drugs. And she's brilliant. She, she's an A minus pitcher there. Starter reliever, which means she gets plenty of stamina. She could probably last the rest of the game. Blimey. Braindig chucks another 50 bucks in the bucket. Thank you, Braindig. That's excessive of you. Generous and marvelous and really rather super and lovely. Thank you very much. And you've broken out the rally cap. I might I might sell Bulldozer Power rally caps that don't have a peak. No, no, ra rally caps, it's nothing but all cap, no peak. Yeah, Bill, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Made of Minnesota chucked a tenner into the bucket. Thank you, Made of Minnesota. Um, uh, don't know why you're getting peanuts and cracker and cracker jacks uh, when cracker jack contains peanuts. Uh, but here's a seventh inning stretch. Thank you. I approve. Right. What's he got? He's got a curve. He's got a fast. He's got a change up. A she. Beg your pardon. And that's more than enough to fool me as an idiot batter. Okay. Who's batting? Coral. Okay. Strike two. Yeah. Oh, that was just high. Which is why I left it. That one's not good, but we will get a run. Yeah! We got one in, everybody. And it's Shandy. Yeah, I mean, we got two out, but we got one in. Ah, it counts. It's Shandy Worthless, everybody. Now then, Shandy. You know what, Shandy, would be the best thing that could happen here? Is if you were to murder this pitcher. If you could make that happen, it would be like Christmas all over again. He doesn't make it happen, but he does bat in another run. Super job is Dick. Who's now double Dick. Given that he screwed it up on two separate plays, although the second one really didn't make much of a difference, but he still screwed it up. Because I say so. Yeah, runner on first, and it's Dick batting. All right. One ball, one strike. That's another ball. Yeah. Yeah. That's another strike. Yeah. You're liking the outside stuff so far. That's a good one. Dick with a hit. Runners on first and second. We're not stealing anything, remember. Their catcher has got an arm like a cannon. Here's Cookie Peach as well. She's been playing well today. That's who I was thinking of. And that's where we are. All right, Cookie. We need a home run. All right. Whether or not you hit one is irrelevant. That's what we need. Well, she hasn't hit a home run, but she's loaded the bases back up again. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that is all right. Here's Bernard Dunk. He's out of here. What? Yeah. Uh, get off my field. Right. Bring in Carlton Wander. Is that wise? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. All right. Okay. Carlton Wander in for Bernard Dunk, everybody. He's not the Number best hitter 71. we've got. Uh, but I think that uh, there's just a hex on Bernard Dunk right now. Um, so, so Carlton is coming in to try and uh, try and build the difference maker that we need, and he's not. Still, we got two runs there, and that was—I mean, it cost us a lot to get those runs. Um, but at the end of seven, uh, Peninsula Transport eleven BDP, somewhat less than that. Is Cramp Inquisitor, but. Are you up for a little bit more pitching? I reckon he is. I reckon he's got another battery. Well, he's got another 10, 15 pitches in him. All right. Strike one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, another fast. Another fast. Another fast. Or a sinker. You could do a sinker. All right. All right. Yeah. Well, that's same kind of thinking. Yeah. All right. And then slide one outside his hitting radius. Like that. That should have worked. You should have been fooled by... Why weren't you fooled? Well, he wasn't fooled. He was fooled by that one, though. 
Beautiful. But claims another scalp seven, there uh, from Kerr. his uh, from his scalp cannon, um, and uh, and that will bring Julio Lobster up to bat. But to be honest, they can take it easy now. Would they have a six-run cushion? And we've only scored five in the entire game. So you know they've got that to to consider, and they've got a hell of a pitcher that's come. Why? Why? Why, Julio? All right. Well, I mean. Just <laughs> okay. Yeah. Where's that one going? Same place as the last one. Why's it going over there? Because you've got wobbly thumbs. Oh, okay. Yeah, he hit that one somehow. Uh, Andrew's chucked another two bucks in the bucket for another pint of meths. Can't say I'm surprised. Good pitch. But he pulled it. Oh. That will do. And he's fouled it. Yeah. Bert, you're sitting down after this, dude, so just get rid of him, will you? But I don't want to sit you down before you've got this, dude. But I may have to. I mean, your arm's got enough left in to throw the ball a few more times. That'll do. All right, yard line comes in. Makes the catch. All right. All right, we're done with Bert. Number two. Whoo, yeah. All right. Yep. Uh, indeed. Right, uh, substitution, Santino, come on, Betty, Santino, all right, Santino Bananas now pitching, and with two outs at the top of the eighth, uh, here's Aurora, I can't believe she's not better than this Tundra, all right. and that one's, that one's been hit back with some level of furiousness, surely furiosity, it's more or less the same thing. Right, and then you can do that. Stick it in the dirt, she'll swing. She won't. Your, your curve is good, man, but it's not that good. All right. Valerie. Did not need to die. Oh, well. It's okay. It's all right. We've still got two outs. We've still got two outs. But, I mean, that would have been the end of the inning. His clamorous thrapple, who is four for four. Yeah. But is Santino Bananas nervous about that? No, sir. Santino says, I see you with the hot streak today, and I'm going to change that with my pitching, because my pitching is bitching. Nope. Okay. That uh, didn't work. All right. Can't. Uh, just throw him. He's on base again. He is on base again. Yeah, well, I mean, I was thinking about walking him deliberately, but uh, here we are. Catcher number 47. All right. Here's Trace Attitude. She's three for four. To this is where they've killed us today. These two uh, have been the ones that have done the damage. Uh, incredibly consistent play from both of them. You're kidding me. I don't think they are. That's another Trace Attitude home run. She used to play for us. She was rubbish when she played for us. Uh, it's not rubbish now, is she? The second baseman. Well, she's not rubbish today, certainly. Uh, his Viscount Heat. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, yes. All right, strike one. Who is it? It's Viscount Heat. Yeah. Cindy. What a catch from Cindy Vapid. It's too little too late. Uh, but Cindy Vapid there with the play to end all plays. Uh, right, Santino, sit down. Uh, no, <laughs> I mean, we've got to try and get run, Santino. I can't let you stay in. Terry Partizan, you're in. I promised you an at-bat. Here it is. Don't let me down. <clears throat> I want this one. So far over the fence, we get five runs for it. All right, and we should only be able to hit it far enough to get five laps. Wrong way. That was the change-up, I think. And that one will be out. Okay, yeah. All right. Yeah, here's Valerie Hammock. She got a single today and nothing else. She's not hanging around. Oh, we're into make it quick time. I don't know if we are particularly. I'm still just Number swinging at stuff that I feel has got a chance. Why not that one? Because I decided not to swing at the first pitch. And that, I made that decision before it was thrown. 
Chubbs there with the late throw. That fastball was evidently pretty quick. Down the line. Oh, Chubbs, demon times Beaver. He's trying to go for two. God bless him. He's out as well. A player who wasn't who wasn't quite so slow might have made that. All uh, right, Terry, you were rubbish. Sit down. Betty, you're in. Okay. Yeah. You've only got one inning to sit through, Betty. Try and make it as quick as possible. Yeah. I can't see us pulling back nine. We're playing so awfully. I just can't see it happening. All right. Yeah, and by the time we get to bat, it won't be nine, of course. It'll be more like 12. Betty Floater throws to Shandy, and that's out number one. Now batting, the pitcher, number 28. Kevin saying uh, victory is still possible. It's true. Victory is still possible. Uh, in terms of is victory plausible at this point, no. I haven't had a nine-run inning uh, in multiple seasons, uh, so I just don't. I just don't see it, especially not against this. Not against their pitcher, who is excellent. And uh, and given that uh, I'm a bit twitchy uh, in terms of swinging at rubbish, that's another out. All right, Betty, you're doing a solid job here. Number uh, 10. I, I simply can't see it happening. Here's Zebulon Cramsh Crampshaft. Crankshaft. Crankshaft. Two outs. They don't need any more runs. But they'll probably get some anyway. Because that's the way the game is going. Yeah, strike two. Uh, what's going to fall up? Do you think it's your below average slider or your below average fastball? Try that. Hey! Betty Floater, perfect pitching. Well, I never did. But to be honest, they probably just stood there. Oh, dear. Yeah, all right. There we go. All right, yeah. Nine runs needed to take it to extra innings. Good news is we start with Cindy Vapid. So how Cindy performs will dictate whether we have some chance or no chance. Uh, in our uh, in our fight back, Cindy found that one off. That one was going slow. That was a change up. Ball one, yeah. That's no good. Second base will throw her out. It was close. It was close, but no. Here's Coral, who has been less than her usual self today. She's hit that one long, but it's short. And she's gone as well. Well, if you can't be good, be quick. Uh, he's Shandy Worthless. He's he's batting 500 today, which is fine. And he's run two bats in. Put that in the right order. Um, and uh, now it falls to Shandy Worthless to try and turn this around. Well, he's going to get on base. Good lad. Well done, Shandy. Well done. Well done. Good work, Shandy. Good, excellent. Excellent work, Shandy. Good job. Shandy Worthless doing a good job there. Here's Dick. And uh, he's he's batted well today, but his fielding has been atrocious. Uh, which is why he's in the Dick house. And there we go. He gets another base hit. Well done, Dick. Good job. Good job, Dick. Uh, two outs. Bulldozer power suddenly getting people on base. Here's Cookie, who's been exceptionally good today. Four for four. All singles. But, you know, when the rest of the team has been stinking up the place... Four singles is a good place to be. Smash! That's a hell of a hit right there. Everybody runs. That's a cookie peach as well as home run right there. No, no, no. No, don't start believing. Don't, don't start. Don't start believing. Because uh, it's not going to happen. Cookie peach as well. It's what an absolute hit. Uh, here's Carlton Wonder. We can't sub him. I've got no catchers left. We, he's got to play, and we've got now two pitching, outs. Number 17. Wendy Drugs has been taken off, and they're bringing in Eunice Ultramarines. That's an interesting choice. I wouldn't have done that. Okay. Fresh pitcher. All right. Okay. Stand your ground, Carlton. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Cricket pitcher. Yeah. Minus the bounce, obviously. Good, bad, done. 
There it is. <laughs> uh, Scott chucked 20 bucks in the bucket uh, with a bowling pin yelling goal. Um, yeah, just... <laughs> hey, well, that was... That one fell apart. I mean, it didn't fall apart all at once. I mean, if you look at the scoreline, it fell apart a lot in several separate chunks. End score, Bulldozer Power 8, Peninsula Transport 14. Uh, it was almost, almost a comeback, but you shouldn't have called it a comeback because it wasn't one. Uh, yeah. yeah, who's going to get star player? Clamorous Thrapple. You reckon? Five for five? I should say so. Yeah, but Trace Attitude had two home runs and eight runs batted in. All right, that's number one. Yeah. Yeah, that's obviously number one. Cookie Peaches Wallace probably gets on there as well. We'll see. All right, okay. Uh, Denzel Wilderness obviously gets star player. Uh, two strikeouts. Only gave up 12 hits over the course of six innings, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, he gets the win. Bubbly Merchandise gets the loss and a concussion. And uh, several weeks in hospital to recover from that, along with the broken ribs. Uh, if you missed that part of the show, uh, Bubbly Merchandise got completely and utterly demolished in the second inning. So third, third, in the third inning. That said, she hadn't exactly been playing brilliantly to that point. No. Betty Floater pitched one inning and got two strikeouts. Just ruminate on that, because she's rubbish. Trace Attitude is your star player ahead of Clamorous Thrapple uh, and Cookie Peaches Wallace. Unlike the last game, I have no complaints with this judgment. Hey. Yeah, that's not, it's not ideal. I'd, I, you would want to go out on a high, but we're not going out on a high. We're going out on a, oh dearie me. Yeah. There you go. I'm going to simulate one game at a time. Here's the Off City Axemen up against Cheerio Incorporated. Uh, the Axemen are probably chasing a lead somewhere, whereas Cheerio are probably in the lead somewhere. Um, and therefore, things. Here comes the game. And the Axemen have won that one, and that helps them out a bit. Good. Here's the next game. There's only 15 more. I'm not going to do them all like this. I'm going to do it until I get bored, and then I'll skip through the rest of them. Here's the Sea Raiders up against Grunt Auto Group. Sea Raiders, currently 11 wins. Well, if their season isn't dead, they've got to beat the Grunt Auto Group, who are currently leading the Bombastic Division, which is the one I'm in. However, Grunt Auto Group won that 7-1. So that's about <laughs> that's about it for the Sea Raiders. Um, here's the Erg Meloflex Chroniclers chasing down a 500 record versus the Beekeepers, who, with 18 wins already this season, are pretty strong. And there's their 19th. Oof. Uh, here's the Pathfinder, 17 and 11 against the We're Probably Done For This Year Pirates. Uh, Pathfinders win that 4-3. to three, And the Pirates become the first team to have 20 of anything. Sadly for them, it's 20 losses. Oh no, the Bums and Medics have had 20 losses for a while now. Well, all right then. Here's the Roadies versus the Nomads. Oh, yeah, there's a, there's a result and no mistake. Both teams were leading their divisions and both teams continue to lead their divisions, but one of those teams just lost a game. Here's the Toy Masters versus the Medics. The Medics putting up some early points and they get a rare win to pull them into double figures. The last team to get 10 wins this season. Uh, Erg Melonflex are taking on Grazer Ridge and uh, it's a game of baseball and the Chroniclers have won it. Neither team is currently in contention for the postseason, uh, but we've still got some way to go before that. Picks Creek are taken on the Sports Ball Union. Picks Creek have got that one in another nothing game. Uh, Lingo Blend are taken on Colonel School, our third nothing game in a row, but they are in the same division, so there's a frisson of tension for you. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, next up, the Grunt Auto Group against Failywood Hills. Failywood Hills are the best team in the league at the moment. No, that's the Nomads. You sure? Well, I mean, it, it, the Nomads were the best team undisputed, but they've been caught up by both the Beekeepers and Failywood. So, anyway, Failywood just won that. So they're the first team to get 20 wins. Oh, well done, you. Here's Pathfinders in action against, against Human Resources. Oh, well, I never did. And the Pathfinders lost. 
Was it a run nothing game? No, no, no. The Pathfinders have allowed their division mates to catch up a little. Uh, here's Cheerio Incorporated against the Wizard Hole Wizards. The Wizards are in second, chasing down the Nomads and need the win, which they don't get. So Cheerio are feeling pleased with themselves. Here's Shady Palms against the Sweaty Marsupials, which, incidentally, was the warm-up game from the pre-stream game section of the Today Show. I know. How, how, how thrilling. Shady Palms making it look easy. Marsupials with a nice comeback, but the Palms win that 14 to 5. Uh, the Voo Boys with a 500 record one game away from them uh, against the Beekeepers who need that 20th win and have it. Uh, the Beekeepers on their best season since the very first season of baseball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, uh, it was Beekeepers BDP in the final and we beat them. No, they beat us. They beat us. We lost in the final. Did we? I can't remember. I'm ancient. Here's the Menstruals in action against the Sunshine Fun Bus in a game that surely matters to one of them. No, it doesn't Doesn't matter to either of them. Uh, and there we go. So, the records-wise, BDP on 11 and 18, tied with the Fire Chefs. Uh, Grunt Auto Group, 18 and 12. Well, it only leaves us six and a half games out of first. Only. Yeah. There'll be a time where only means not going to happen. Uh, two teams with 20 wins, Failywood Hills and the Beekeepers, both leading their divisions right now, both teams with a three-game lead. Uh, out of it, at this point, you would say probably the Pirates. Probably. Uh, probably the Bums and Medics as well. Probably the Toy Masters. And probably Bulldozer Power and the Fire Chefs, unless I learn how to play. All evidence is... That ain't happening now. Our next game is against another bad team. We're playing the Bongolia Sea Raiders. Kit Kats will be pitching for them. Zoltan Zoltan returns to your screens in the next game. I look forward to seeing it. It'll be around next weekend. Usual kind of time, usual kind of place. Thank you very much for tuning in today. This has been a special once in a lifetime. Well, once in a year. Well, once in a while. Live stream of the Bulldozer Power and playing the Super Mega Baseball Part 4. I've been Colonel Failure. If you haven't subscribed already, chances are you weren't allowed to chat. And if you hit the subscribe button, you will be allowed to chat because I'm mean like that. It actually, what it basically does is it keeps out a lot of spammers. Um, yeah, that's the only reason I do it. Uh, another live stream? What, now? No. No, I'm not doing another one today. I'm going to go and do something else. I'm going to go and play Cyberpunk, because I feel like it. Uh, but there you go. That's it. Enjoy the rest of your New Year's Eve, what you have left of it, if you have any of it left, if you're uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the eastern side of the planet. Oh, you've done that well. Hemisphere, I think people call it. If you're on the eastern hemisphere of the planet, Happy New Year. If you're not, have a Happy New Year when you have a Happy New Year. And hopefully it will be happy, but it will be a new year. And what you choose to do with that new year is entirely up to you. So there you go. I'd give you some outro music, but I don't have any. So there you go. Instead, why not just look at this screen that uh, really needs the words, Get out, it's finished, written underneath. Marvellous. Cheerio!